Currently Kirkland, your source for city news and events in the community. With Connie Terman at the news desk. Stay up to date with weekly news reports and what's happening in Kirkland. Now, here's Connie. Welcome to Currently Kirkland, where you hear stories about the people and sites that make Kirkland an attractive and vibrant place to live, work, and visit. I'm Connie Terman. In Currently Kirkland's featured curriculum series, we are exploring the many ways that Kirkland is rising above and beyond to prepare students for the future. As technology is constantly changing and improving, Juanita High School is staying ahead of the game with technology education and literacy in schools, or TEALS, a program that offers computer science courses to high school students. Greg Shelton of the TEALS program outlines this method as a solution to a problem within the education system. What TEALS is, is it's a really cool opportunity for the students. Um, essentially, we have uh, Microsoft employees that come in and they work with the students and work with me, and they're content experts um, in programming. And what they do is they teach the class, and they help me teach the class, and help me learn computer science all at the same time. Because Microsoft realized, I believe, that there aren't enough people trained in computer science that are educators. And so they want to create a program where they could have every high school have computer science in the high school. And they stepped up to the plate with uh, this program to help train teachers and to um, help teach students all about computer science. The topic of computer science may seem daunting, but Chris Callahan, a volunteer mentor, explains how the class curriculum is fun and relatively easy to learn. In this classroom, we use a language called BYOB. It's uh, produced from the University of Berkeley. It is a graphical language. Uh, it's very unlike most computer languages, if you've ever seen any. It is not text-based. We have all these blocks that they drag out and they snap together. And if a block can snap together, it belongs together. There is no direct syntax and they can't type things in incorrectly. So for an intro class, it's very nice because we reduce the hurdle of the complexity of syntax. And it's been a great experience. At the beginning, I thought, boy, this looks like a Mickey Mouse language. How can we teach with this? And now that I'm actually using it and seeing what it can do in the classroom, it's a, it's a quite powerful tool for the introduction for this material. Mark Flores, another volunteer mentor, covers why this skill is so important to learn. So computer science is, even though it's, it's math-based, it's uh, really, really good for critical thinking, right? The foundation of computer science is given a problem, how do you go about solving it? So there's a process in order to do that. So students who decide not to go on with computer science will still gain the ability of really critical um, thinking and problem solving. I'm going to study biology and pre-med, but I know that there's like a lot of applications with computer science and like the healthcare field, so I'm definitely like interested in that. Having this skill not only develops a new way of thinking, but also opens the door to future success. I've been interested in like programming and code at the time I was learning how to do Java. So I looked at this and I thought it'd be interesting because that's always something I wanted to do. I think it's really been fun. It's like everything we do it involves different strategies and different skill sets. Volunteer mentor Scott Shell stresses the program's importance for the future of engineering and technology. We need to train engineers. We need to get people interested and excited in doing the work and building the things that are going to be the foundation of the future economy. In the future, more and more things are becoming uh, knowledge-based work. We're becoming based on computer science, based on programming, and having that literacy with programming, the concepts of how we build things with a computer is going to be more and more important. The thing Mr. Shelton showed before, where we printed out a Lego, that was a 3D printer. And the output of things like that is all based on the computer and the things we can do with the computer. So having our students have that understanding and that knowledge about how the world works is going to be super important to our success. So what's up next for Teals? The program will offer a course in every high school within the Lake Washington School District next year and is expanding to include many other schools all over the United States. To learn more about the program, visit www.teelsk12.org. If you answered your phone in mid-April, it might have been the city calling. Kirkland residents have once again voiced their opinions about the city through phone and online surveys. 
The results found that a majority of residents rated Kirkland an excellent or very good place to live, highlighting positives such as the small town feel and convenience of the area. Results show that the city is performing very well in categories that are of high importance to residents, such as safety, park maintenance, and protecting the environment. The survey also provides some data for the performance measure report. The results will be utilized for the upcoming budget process as it helps the city prioritize services and functions to align best to residents' needs. You can find more information about the survey and its results on the City of Kirkland website. As the community survey shows, safety is of high importance to Kirkland residents. This is now serviced and supported by the newly opened Kirkland Justice Center. Over 200 attendees came out to celebrate the grand opening of this new building, along with both police and court staff members to help acquaint everyone with the beautiful new space. From the Kirkland Municipal Court, Judge Lambeau highlighted the added safety thanks to this new home to both agencies. There are a number of benefits. The, the primary one, uh, uh, I would say, is security. Uh, in the court business, security can be a challenge. Kirkland Municipal Court has primarily criminal cases with some civil traffic infraction matters. And with criminal cases, you're dealing with people who are upset and emotional. Some have mental health and alcohol and drug addiction issues. And so security is always a challenge when you're in that type of an environment. This new facility where we're right next door to the police department and the jail with all of its correction staff is right behind us adds uh, another uh, huge layer of security. From the Kirkland Police Department, Chief Olson also stressed the new convenience that the Kirkland Justice Center provides for both agencies. Well, the one feature that really stands out is the adjacencies. We now have different work groups that work close to each other. The jail is in the same building, the court is in the same building. And because of that, we can be much more efficient than we used to be in our old building. Kirkland residents that attended the opening also found new benefits and features that they enjoyed. We like that the, um, the building has incorporated art elements. Mm -hmm. You know, it's really important. It's important to the people that are working in the building. It's important to the people that go in and are waiting in line or whatever they're doing to see artwork. And so the building is very visually, I think, aesthetically pleasing. And the artwork is a wonderful addition to that. This visual splendor is thanks in part to the artists who created the artworks featured in the building. Katie Stone, the artist behind Medians, Sky Meets Water, and Medians, Earth Meets Air, explains the approach she took to her installations. The artwork was inspired by nature, and it was also inspired by the idea of balance and stability and something that reflected the ideals of our justice system, but also created a, f a certain feeling or experience in a setting like this because you have to think about how stressful it is. So my work is like, has a calming presence that people tune into and recognize. The Kirkland Police Department and the Municipal Court are now fully operating out of the Kirkland Justice Center, located at 11750 Northeast 118th Street and 11740 Northeast 118th Street. Directions and other information can be found on the city's website. The Kirkland Summer Concerts kickoff is right around the corner and music to our ears. A tradition in Kirkland since 1977, these concerts offer a fun time for residents of all ages. Kids' concerts will be every Tuesday at 10 a.m. beginning on July 8th and located at Juanita Beach Park. The evening concerts will be every Thursday at 7 p.m. beginning on July 10th and located in downtown Kirkland at Marina Park. You can find the lineups and much more at www.kirklandsummerconcerts.org. Another fantastic event coming up is the annual 4th of July celebration, which is poised to light up Kirkland once again, with various events including the annual parade and the fan favorite fireworks. Bring your friends and family to the festivities that start at 10 a.m. on July 4th. An important note about the parade this year is that the route has been reversed, meaning it will travel past Marina Park and end on Central Way. 
When arriving, remember that certain roads will be closed for the parade route and ensure you arrive early to get a parking spot. Please also keep in mind that there is a year-round fireworks ban in Kirkland. So be sure to come to these festivities to get your fireworks fix. The event schedule, parade route, and parking information can be found at www.explorekirkland.com. Both of these summer favorites received a sponsorship boost from Waste Management. As always, thank you for watching Currently Kirkland. Remember, you can watch us on demand on the city's website, on your mobile devices, and on YouTube. If you have any news tips, suggestions, or comments, please send them to kirklandtv at kirklandwa.gov. We'd love to hear from you.